Disaster strikes, survival in the apocalypse, spiritual space, infrastructure farming, pet cultivation, plant mutation, Sumi was reborn a month before the natural disaster, when everything had not yet happened. She knew that the extreme weather of the apocalypse was actually a major reshuffle of life. Firstly, due to extreme heat and withering of plants, the human body will be burned down by the high temperature, and the apocalyptic natural disasters will begin without warning. Rainstorm, extreme cold, flood, ice coming one after another. Ordinary people cannot survive in such extreme environments for more than a month. Only by enduring and waiting for the revival of all things. Reborn for a lifetime, there is a space of excellence in the relics left by her mother. So Su Mi began to frantically gather supplies. Firewood, rice, oil and salt, daily necessities, warm clothing, water, and more seed. Only by staying can we be safe, and only by staying can we be long. Lasting. Unexpectedly, after the natural disaster, the recovery of all things exceeded her imagination. The abandoned cities that melted after being frozen merge with the revived forests, and organisms begin to mutate or return to their ancestors. They attack humans and occupy a certain area. After the dragonfly touched the water, it sliced open the ugly body of the toad, and smooth and lift the huge four-legged beast above their heads, the bee colony lurks in ambush, preparing to pick up honey from a clumsy bear, forest giant pythons are drained of blood and organs by mutated leeches, the food chain has reversed, and humans are no longer the masters on this blue star. The world is full of crises keywords of the novel. Doomsday disaster hungry belly skin, I have space full of supplies without pop-ups, doomsday disaster hungry belly skin, I have space full of supplies. Download the complete set of TXT. Doomsday disaster hungry belly skin, I have space full of supplies. Latest chapters to read. Chapter 1. Rebirth and return to the end of the world, recommended for collection in PK. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Rebirth and Return to the End of the World, recommended for collection in PK, half a year after the apocalyptic disaster, two dot thirds of the entire blue star was submerged by rivers and seas, and some areas even began to snow for thousands of miles, with polar regions frozen. In extremely cold environments, it is impossible for ordinary people to go out at this time. Sumi hid in a room on the ninth floor, trembling with several layers of damp bedding. She is waiting, waiting for her boyfriendly heron and best friend Yu Xiaoxing to come back with food. The sound of the key socket came from the door, and Su Mi came out of the room wrapped in a blanket to greet her. However, she saw five skinny and rugged men enter the room one by one, each carrying weapons such as knives or sticks. When they saw Su Mi's appearance, the eyes of the five of them emitted a lustful light. Who are you? Why do you have my keys? I warn you to leave immediately, otherwise when my boyfriend and his friends come back, we will never let you go. Su Mi knew that even if Heron and Xiaoxing returned, they could not compete with these five people. But what she didn't expect was that one of the big men picked up the key in his hand and approached her, shaking it in front of her. His thick purple tongue licked his lips and said, You probably don't know yet. Your boyfriend and your beautiful little friend have already sold you to us. They won't come back until we finish our business, so give up. Su Mi's heart had been sinking since these five big men entered the door. They had keys in their hands. If it weren't for the murder of Heron and Xiaoxing, then these five people wouldn't have deceived her. She was sold. In the first half of the year after the natural disaster, the three of them did not have the opportunity to venture out hunting and hoarding supplies like the others. Instead, they survived holding on to the supplies in her cellar and sat on the sidelines for half a year. Today happened to be the seventh day they had no leftover food, and then she was sold. The door tightly closed in Su Mi's panicked expression. If she were only sold to these five men to vent, she might still have one life to live. But what if it's not just venting? The weather outside is getting colder and colder and it is said that those areas far from the equator have been frozen by polar ice, resulting in more deaths. 
the polar ice pack will eventually spread over. The people here are extremely short of food, and in such an environment, she cannot imagine what will happen to herself after these five big men vent their frustrations. Not dying allows one to survive, but after death, one cannot be dignified. This is the tragedy that everyone will soon face in the apocalypse. She has seen such a scene more than once from the window. Those humans dominated by hunger, with their crimson eyes open, have become demons in their own hearts. Perhaps they can no longer be considered as one person. Five men, even though each one was emaciated from hunger, had much greater strength than her. Shouting is useless, struggling is also useless. She just regretted believing in Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing, whom she thought were her closest people in this world. Five men, two by two, grabbed her arms and legs and lifted her into the room, only to find blood flowing from the corners of her lips after throwing her onto the bed. Boss, she bit her tongue and committed suicide. What? Are you dead? There's only one breath left. After smelling the mixed smell of various corpses outside, the man known as the boss instantly turned pale. Pooh, bad luck. Unwillingly, she glanced at Sumi lying on the bed and said to the younger brother beside her, Call them in. As expected, Li Heron pulled the timid Yu Xiaoxing into the room. When Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing saw Sumi on the bed, who seemed dead, their faces suddenly turned pale. Damn it, what are you afraid of? Isn't it just a dead person? Isn't this the result of your transaction with us? Now you know you're afraid. Although Li Heron's face was pale, as he looked at Su Mi who had died, his eyes were more of a sense of relief from the long dot term burden being lifted. No, it's just that seeing this little slut who dragged her back is dead, I feel a bit emotional. Li Heron's voice rang out, awakening Su Mi's last remaining willpower. Su Mi, who was spitting blood foam at her mouth, suddenly stared at Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing. Just a dead person shining back, Brother Heron, don't be afraid. Li Heron picked up Yu Xiaoxing's hand and pinched it. If I were afraid, I wouldn't have bribed that driver to cause that accident before the end of the world. Unfortunately, this little slut's life is too great. If she had died at that time, then her inheritance would have been all his, and now there's no need to drag her along. Su Mi's eyes widened angrily, Chi, 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 after biting her tongue and committing suicide, her last bit of strength was exhausted, and she died completely. Eyes not closed, heart unwilling. The greatest wish before death is. If she were to start over again, she would definitely not trust these two ruthless beasts anymore. She seemed to be lost in a long dream, surrounded by pitch black nights in all directions, with only two pairs of familiar eyes mocking her. She stared at those two pairs of eyes unwillingly, hatred overflowing from her chest, wishing to kill these two beasts immediately. Until the hatred piled up, the feeling of weakness that had been all over her body gradually disappeared, replaced by a painful sensation that made her teeth crack. With a thud, Sumi fell to the ground and immediately felt the suppressed hatred in her chest turn into a mournful scream, blurting it out. Ah! It hurts. The pitch black in front of me slowly brightened, and when I opened my eyes, I saw the snow.white ward filled with disinfectant water. Honey, what's wrong with you? Why did you fall off? Yu Xiaoxing lazily stood up from the chair and slowly came to Su Mi's side, holding a fruit knife and an apple that could be put down in the future. So, she only spoke verbally and did not intend to help Su Mi up. After a wave of spinning pain, Su Mi instinctively kept a distance from Yu Xiaoxing squatting beside her. The first thing I saw was Yu Xiaoxing's face that made her want to kill her immediately, and there was the fruit knife in her hand that she couldn't bear to put down. Unable to distinguish between reality and dreams, Sumi instinctively grabbed the blade with one hand and snatched the fruit knife away, holding the handle and about to stab Yu Xiaoxing. At the last moment, Li Heron, who rushed over, hugged and stopped him. Honey, what's wrong with you? Wake up. Li Heron patted Su Mi's small face, his fierce expression and eyes making him tremble with fear. 
Even when Sumi woke up, he dared not look her in the eye and lowered his head with a guilty conscience. Sumi woke up and also figured out what had happened. She was reborn. Reborn a month before the onset of the apocalyptic disaster, she woke up from the hospital when she was murdered by the hired men and women of this dog. She has a clear understanding of everything. She lay quietly on the hospital bed, without closing her eyes. Li Heron let the frightened Yu Xiaoxing leave and accompanied her by the side of her bed. When she woke up from her past life, she was moved by Li Heron's careful care and became even more obedient to him, even transferring her two villas under his name. One set is for him, and the other set is to show filial piety to Li Heron's parents who are about to arrive in J City. This is also something that Li Heron has been discussing with her for a long time. After waking up in the previous life, I softened and agreed. At this moment, Li Heron's face was full of worry, which almost made Sumi applaud his acting skills. If he were to become an actor, he would definitely be the one who won the Hundred Flowers Academy Award. However, this time he miscalculated. Li Heron, let's break up. Don't let me see you again. At least don't appear in front of her for the month before the end of the world, otherwise Sumi is afraid she won't be able to resist killing and smashing people before the end of the world arrives. At least for now, committing murder would bring her immense trouble. The future is long, and after the apocalypse, she has plenty of opportunities to kill this dog man and woman. New book upload, I hope everyone can provide more support. This book does not have zombies or abilities, but has a male lead who will not appear in the early stages. The new book era is very important for the author. I hope everyone can use their wealth-making skills to collect tickets for Hua Jianjian and interact more. Valuable monthly pass recommendation tickets. I hope everyone can give this new book an outline and save drafts, so you can rest assured to follow up, end of this chapter. Chapter 2. Rental Warehouse. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Rental Warehouse Lee Heron remained confused until he was invited out by the security and medical staff. This is completely different from his predetermined scenario. The murder was not successful this time. He just needed to be by Sumi's side and take good care of her as soon as she woke up, coaxing and deceiving her. She would definitely agree to transfer those two villas that he favored to his name, at this moment, Li Heron's phone rang, indicating that it was his parents on the caller ID. Mom, what's up? Son, can you ask Mimi if she can increase the number of villas she has given you? Your sister has broken up with her boyfriend, and if she also has a villa next to her, her value will be different in the future. If there is a blind date in the future, she can definitely go to a higher level high dot quality man. Upon hearing these words, Li Heron furrowed his brows and a moment of impatience appeared in his expression. However, he quickly smiled on the phone and said, Mom, don't worry, she loves me so much. She always listens to what I say. It's just that she agreed on two villas and suddenly has an extra one. I'm afraid she might think too much. You make your sister wait a little longer, she's too anxious to eat hot tofu upon hearing this, Lee's mother followed suit and repeatedly said yes. Finally, she happily hung up the phone. Lee Heron turned his head to look in the direction of Sumi's ward, and his eyes once again regained the light of that dedicated and caring male host. What happened when I was kicked out of the ward? Perhaps he had just woken up and had not yet escaped from the shock of the car accident, so he went to buy her favorite durian layer and coax her to please her. Are you afraid she won't obediently comply? Sure enough, the people hired couldn't be relied on. They took so much money from him but didn't kill him, and in the end, they ran away. Sumi's mother died of difficult childbirth when she was born. Her richest father also passed away from cancer after her college entrance examination ended a year ago. If Sumi dies, the suicide letter he prepared will come in handy. At that time, the huge inheritance and accident insurance benefits she inherited will all belong to his well-known boyfriend, and he will now be the wealthiest young talent in J City. It's just a pity that before Sumi's father passed away, 
he had exchanged all his stock funds and equity holdings for cash and sealed them in an account at a foreign bank. Kaifeng requires Su Mi to establish her own company and go public, otherwise this huge wealth will be donated to impoverished mountainous areas after Su Mi reaches the age of 50. I don't know what the old man was thinking, but with such complex emotions, Li Heron headed towards the nearest private cake shop near the hospital. However, when he returned to the ward carrying durian layers and some fruits that Su Mi loved to eat, he was told that Su Mi had been discharged. She handled the discharge procedures herself. The phone is turned off when making a phone call, and now Li He is panicking. Can she know something? But he and Yu Xiaoxing have never been exposed before. At this moment, Su Mi had just returned to the villa where she used to live with her father. She rushed into the room and locked the doors and windows, then lifted the necklace around her neck and carefully observed it. Just now, when she was injured, her hand with blood and accidentally touched this necklace, it formed a very special connection with her body. She quickly had the nurse bandage her hand and ran back at the fastest speed, just to observe it carefully. Just now, at the moment when the blood in her palm touched the necklace, a very special and comfortable breath penetrated the wound in her palm. Sumi moved her injured palm and it didn't hurt at all. Rapidly tearing off the bandaged gauze, where else is that terrifying wound in your palm? Only a shallow bloodstain remained to remind Sumi that she had indeed injured her palm just now, not in a dream. The chain of this necklace is seamlessly integrated with the pendant, and it's hard to tell what material it is. It was worn by her from childhood to adulthood. Because it is a relic of her mother, she has always been very precious and never dirties it, let alone gets stained with blood. So, when Sumi's fingers touched the necklace again, she thought to herself, what exactly made my wound heal so quickly? As soon as the thought in her heart was over, suddenly Sumi's view in front of her flipped sharply. After seeing her surroundings clearly, Sumi found herself appearing in a very strange space. The air in the space was exceptionally fresh, just like the breath I had smelled before. Underneath my feet is over 400 square meters of black soil. Judging from the color of the soil and the fresh scent in the air, this area should be the most fertile black soil in the soil, with excellent nutrition. Having air circulation, humidity, and warmth like spring, it should be very suitable for planting. At this moment, Sumi was not too shocked by it. She can even touch rebirth, space is nothing. Aren't all the rebirths in popular novels and movies a space for everyone? However, she felt that her space seemed somewhat different from those fictional novels and movies. Those spaces can only hold dead objects, and there is no air or light inside. But Sumi's space was full of vitality and abundant spiritual energy. After only staying here for a while, she felt that the trauma caused by the car accident had almost healed for her. Even the psychological shadows brought to her before her rebirth gradually faded due to the emergence of this space. So she tried to silently say, come out, in her heart, and as expected, after another round of spinning, she reappeared in her room. So this time, she benefited from misfortune and obtained this storage space a month before the arrival of the apocalyptic natural disaster. This will be the basis for her survival in the future. In order to test whether the black soil in the experimental space could be planted, she searched for half a day at home and finally found two climbing roses on the terrace that had not been watered for a long time and were almost withering. Upon her rebirth, she not only did not feel tired from injury, but instead was full of energy. She put on a mask and set off overnight to buy at the 24.hour large supermarket. A month may not be long, but in reality, it is also very short. She thought she could empty out a large supermarket in one night, but it was only after wrapping up all the supplies in the food and daily necessities area that she realized she didn't have a place to store them briefly. She's not foolish enough to sweep so many things into the space directly in front of everyone. So, I communicated with the supermarket manager and asked them to deliver the goods to the address she provided tomorrow. And she woke up a salesperson who had called to ask if she wanted to buy a house overnight. The salesperson was speechless when he was woken up late at night, but when he heard the content on the other end of the phone, 
he suddenly lost all sleep. Help me rent a large warehouse for storing items within an hour. No, within half an hour, I'll give you 200,000 yuan. After speaking, Sumi hung up the phone directly. The salesperson looked at the caller ID on his phone and saw the silly and sweet only daughter of the former richest man. Excitedly, she didn't even wear socks and walked out with a chicken coop on her head. Most of the large warehouses in J City are monopolized by large light industry enterprises. However, there was indeed such an idle large warehouse in his resources, and thinking of it, he immediately called Sumi back. The phone is connected, and Sumi is still strolling in the supermarket. What? Don't you have a large warehouse for rent? Listening to Sumi's slightly disappointed voice, Kong Xiaomin immediately responded. No, no, it's not like that. I do have a large warehouse in my hands, covering an area of 700 square meters with two floors. However, due to its remote location and inconvenient transportation, it has not been rented out. So, do you still want it? Although Kong Xiaomin is greedy for money, he also has his own principles. He does not engage in deceitful or immoral activities. For someone like them who runs a business, 200,000 yuan is simply a sky-high price. But even if you want to take it, you still have to take it with peace of mind. The other end of the phone seemed to chuckle lightly. Yes. It's better to be located in a remote area, and it can also cover people's ears and eyes. Kong Xiaomin was momentarily stunned for half a second before continuing, how long do you want to rent it? I'll go draft the contract for you right away. One month is enough. You can handle the contract as you please, and the key is with you, right? End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Purchasing Materials You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Purchasing Materials Because the entire supermarket was emptied in the middle of the night, Sumi lay at home the next day. It was already the next afternoon when I woke up again. There are hundreds of missed calls in the phone, each for four people. Li Heron, Yi Xiaoxing, Kong Xiaomin, and supermarket manager Li. Open VX, almost all of them are fake caring greetings from Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing, deleted, and blocked. The more I look, the more I want to come and kill someone with a knife. The end of the world is still ahead, she must hold back. Kong Xiaomin's message is very simple. He took three days off and specifically worked as a truck driver for Sumi, helping her transport goods. Of course, he also rented the large truck himself. 200,000 yuan, if he doesn't do anything for Sumi, he always feels guilty. And Sumi also entrusted the transportation of goods to Kong Xiaomin, and asked him to separate the materials he bought by category, classify frozen and fresh food, and put them in the freezer she bought. Kong Xiaomin looked foolishly at the 200,000 yuan in the silver card that had been added overnight, and he was very energetic in his work. As for why did she buy so many things? In the world of wealthy people, where is the world that small people like him can understand? Maybe Miss Sumi wants to open a supermarket. Or perhaps she bought these supplies with the intention of donating them to impoverished mountainous areas. Thinking of this, Sumi's image became even more prominent in Kong Xiaomin's heart. Good person, Miss Sumi is a good person. However, if you want to open a supermarket or donate, buying things at a supermarket in the city is also a luxury. Sumi has earned him so much money, it seems necessary for him to remind her. Although he knew that Sumi was not short of money. At this moment, Sumi turned on the TV in the living room, switched to the news channel, and watched the news while eating takeout. At this point, multiple plates on the blue star have begun to show signs of displacement, which she, who had a love brain in her previous life, did not pay attention to. Earthquakes will occur in inland areas due to plate displacement, and tsunamis will be even more severe in land and sea areas, which will result in the death of many people. However, these are not what she should be managing now. Her current goal is to hoard goods. At this moment, Kong Xiaomin's phone call came over. Miss Su, 
May I ask if you want to open a supermarket after buying so many things? Kong Xiaoman's question suddenly tightened Su Mi's nerves, and she remained vigilant for a few seconds before asking in a deep voice, What's going on? Oh, don't misunderstand. I'm not asking about your situation, but I think if you have a high demand, you can actually go to the wholesale market. The price of the same thing in the wholesale market is. With just one sentence, Sumi woke up the person in her dream. She felt like she had lived a lifetime again, and she really didn't notice many things. If purchasing goods in large quantities in places like supermarkets, it is easy to be suspected by those with intentions. But if it's going to a wholesale market, not only is the price cheap, but if asked about the reason, even if you say you want to open a supermarket, you can still dodge it. After hanging up the phone, Sumi immediately took action. The TV in the living room was turned on and playing, and Sumi put on her mask and dressed up, ready to rush to the largest wholesale market in J City. The largest wholesale market in J City is located outside the Third Ring Road. Although it is far from the city center, the transportation is very convenient. Upon receiving the news, Kong Xiaoman immediately stopped his sorting work, locked the warehouse door, and drove the truck towards the location given by Su Mi. After the two gathered, there was no extra talk and they entered the market directly. The two of them went to the food area and the daily necessities area, and searched for almost an hour and a half. Finally, Su Mi stopped at several seed wholesale stores and bought all the seeds in the store. In addition to vegetable, fruit, and grain seeds, there are also seeds and seedlings of various flowers, plants, and trees that are all round. She had no intention of leaving it for anyone else. Looking at the two surviving climbing roses in the space, Sumi thought to herself, after all, no one has such a magical space to plant like her. Leaving it to others is a waste. After making a big purchase at the wholesale market, Sumi felt like going to the mall to buy some electrical and electronic equipment, so she asked Kong Xiaoman. Kong Xiaoman is a male engineer, and coupled with his innate sensitivity and preference for electronic and electrical products, he explained in detail the usage of various electrical appliances to Sumi. Sumi seemed to be listening attentively, and this move moved Kong Xiaoman very much. Miss Su, if you have any home appliances or electronic products for maintenance and repair in the future, just one phone call and I will provide free on-dot site service. Sumi was surprised and said, Are you very proficient in things like electrical appliances and electronics? Kong Xiaoman awkwardly touched the back of his head and said, Hee hee, to be honest, I used to be a science student at a prestigious school, but later my parents had an accident and didn't have the money to study for me anymore. I came out to work before graduation. Su Mi's eyes lit up. Good science students from prestigious universities. I see, do you know any solar energy devices that can absorb solar energy and store electricity in high temperatures of 55 degrees Celsius? Kong Xiaoman pondered for a moment and said solemnly, ordinary solar appliances on the market can withstand temperatures up to 45 degrees Celsius. No matter how high the temperature is or if it is exposed to 45 degrees Celsius for a long time, the energy storage panel may crack. Sumi let out a disappointed sigh, but Kong Xiaoman continued. However, if there are high dot temperature resistant nanomaterials, I think I can modify solar panels to withstand temperatures of 55 or even 60 degrees Celsius. Of course, the better the material, the better its high dot temperature resistance Su Mi's gaze towards Kong Xiaoman changed at this moment. Why are you willing to become a salesperson when you have this skill? Miss Su, nowadays when looking for a job, it's important to talk about academic qualifications and work experience. The topic you're referring to was a mentor's project during my college years, so I understand it very well. Furthermore, who would want to transform ordinary solar panels like this? The cost has greatly increased, but it does not bring significant benefits to the market Sumi nodded, and then the two drove to the electrical area of the mall. With Kong Xiaoman's explanation and guidance, they also searched the electrical area thoroughly. Several sets of high-dot performance power generation and solar energy equipment have been ordered, including bathroom equipment and smart bathtubs. 
Watching Su Mi not even let go of the toilet, Kong Xiaomin looked at Su Mi with a strange expression in his eyes. What exactly does this little ancestor want to do? But based on the most basic principle of receiving money and handling affairs, even if Su Mi didn't say it, he decided to keep it confidential for her. After finishing all of this, the two of them ate something in the mall, and Su Mi asked Kong Xiaomin to return to the warehouse to continue categorizing her supplies. Su Miqing was fortunate that her father left her a rich inheritance, which allowed her to confidently hoard supplies after her rebirth. Su Mi has been commuting to various markets every day for the past three days to purchase goods. Those with high demand go to wholesale markets, while those with low demand but high quality requirements go to specialty stores or online shopping. She went directly to the owner of the specialty store to order clothes that were resistant to cold and comforters. Su Mi chose to shop online for items such as toothbrushes, facial cleansers, and sanitary pads. Most of the daily necessities have been purchased, and the rest are some special items. For example, wilderness survival equipment, outdoor equipment, self.defense weapons, excavation tools, lighters and flints, medicines, traditional Chinese medicine, Western medicine, and trauma medicine all require a lot. However, if something special like medicine is purchased in large quantities at this time, it can arouse suspicion from those with intentions. So, she filtered through cities online and purchased many commonly used essential medicines and a large amount of mugwort from different pharmacies across the country through different channels. After the flood that lasted for nearly half a month, deep and unpredictable rivers formed in areas below the sixth floor, and houses above the sixth floor suffered regional outbreaks of disease under the scorching sun. Artemisia argi is not only an effective means of epidemic control, but also prevents insect pests. Kong Xiaomin, who had been busy working for Su Mi in the warehouse for three days, really began to worry about Su Mi. What is it that I bought so many vegetables and fruit pulp? After Su Mi followed the delivery personnel to the warehouse, she secretly pulled her aside and started whispering. Miss Su, you probably have read too many apocalyptic novels and listened to the post-apocalyptic comments online now, right? I thought you wanted to open a supermarket, but you bought so many vegetables and fruits that one person wouldn't be able to eat them. It's a pity if they broke. How about you return them? Su Mi looked at Kong Xiaomin's concern for the country and the people, which was really funny. For the past three days, Kong Xiaomin has almost slept in the warehouse and helped her sort materials when she woke up, doing very well. I don't ask about her affairs and don't disclose them. Su Mi has a good impression of him. So she looked at Kong Xiaomin with a mysterious expression on her face and said, Yes, the internet says the end of the world is coming. It's better to believe in its existence than to believe in its absence. I'm hoarding more things, what if the end of the world really is coming? Little brother, learn from me, maybe you'll have a useful day. Kong Xiaomin laughed angrily at Su Mi's words, but on second thought, he was also right. Rich people are afraid of death. Anyway, since you have money, it's okay to make some preparations and buy some peace of mind. So he asked, Miss Su, why don't you plan to build an air raid shelter or basement? It said online that global temperatures are generally rising recently, and it's predicted that there will be the highest temperature in history. The basement is so cool. Originally just a joke, Su Mi's eyes lit up unexpectedly. How could she not have thought of it? So the next day, professionals were invited to design a seismic and moisture-proof basement for her under the villa. The space and design were based on the principle of air raid shelters, which took about a month to complete. A month, time may be too tight. So, based on the principle that money can make ghosts grind, Sumi increased the price and urged the designers and construction teams to hurry up, only to complete the basement three days before the end of the world. End of this chapter Chapter 4 First Pit the Dog Once for Men and Women you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 First Pit the Dog Once for Men and Women Lee Heron has not been in contact with Su Mi since she was discharged from the hospital. 
At first, I thought it was just Su Mi who was scared, and it would be better in a few days. However, on the third day after Su Mi lost contact, her secondary card belonging to Su Mi was suspended. If this still doesn't indicate the seriousness of the situation, then when he returned to the apartment that Su Mi bought him, the next day he was informed by the real estate agent that the house had been sold and he was limited to move out within three days. This caused Lee Heron to fall into an irreparable black hole during this period. How should he explain to Su Mi? The problem is, it can't be explained. And to explain, you also need to find someone to talk to. So during the most half month of searching for Sumi, he ran through all of Sumi's property locations and possible destinations. For example, there is no trace of her in schools, luxury goods stores that she often visits, and dessert shops that she often eats. Until he thought of a place. The villa where Sumi's ghost father lived with her before his death. That's the only place that Sumi hasn't taken him to. He used all his connections and finally found a place, but was stopped at the entrance by the security guard of the community. Sumi was leisurely eating and reading news at home, seemingly not nervous, but actually anxiously waiting for the arrival of the apocalyptic disaster three days later. The broadcast information in the news, in Sumi's eyes, is a warning before the end of the world. But looking at the large amount of supplies in the necklace space and the submarine that had depleted all her savings, Sumi was very satisfied. During this period, Kong Xiaomin did not disturb her again, which made her very satisfied. Although she wanted to remind Kong Xiaomin, she still didn't speak in the end. She would never do anything that would expose her identity as a reborn person. Now the land in the space has been divided into areas by her, some for stacking supplies, some for growing vegetables, fruits, and grains, and a small portion for storing her recent excess takeout. The half-dead climbing rose that she placed in the space that day has completely revived and is growing vigorously. It is flourishing and blooming in her space, smelling the fragrance of the flowers. Sumi is in a good mood. At this moment, the phone ringtone rang out of place. At first glance, there is information about the property manager in the community. Miss Sue, your boyfriend is at the entrance of the community. Do you want to let him in? Sumi frowned and thought that it must be Lee Heron who came knocking on her door. So he replied, I don't have a boyfriend. Lee Heron is the top student in their school, with good grades, a good personality, gentleness, and thoughtfulness. Apart from poverty, he has no shortcomings. Of course, this is the Lee Heron she saw with a filter before her rebirth. At this moment, Lee Heron has a messy beard and a haggard face. He didn't get the villa as he had hoped, and his parents and sister had a long argument with him. He can't bear it anymore. It's all Sumi's fault. If she goes missing, she will disappear. If he finds her this time, he will definitely find a way for her to compensate for his mental loss. Lee Heron waited for a long time, and the delivery guy kept coming and going one after another, but he couldn't get in. The security guard at the door advised him to leave, but he didn't expect to be scolded loudly. Dog's eyes looked down on people. Honey and I just had an argument. When we get married in the future, I will be the owner of this place, and you will be the one to look good at. The security guard was scolded for his kind advice, and suddenly lost his courtesy. He opened the green belt sprinkler and fountain at the entrance of the villa area, and then sat still in the guard room. The water from the green belt sprinkler at the door is spray-like, which did not affect Lee. However, the recent weather has been very strange. It's already September, and the sun above is getting stronger and the wind is unusually strong. With such a blow, all the mist drifted on Lee Heron's body. It's both damp and hot, it's really uncomfortable. Finally, as noon approached, Lee Heron couldn't bear the high temperature and left. I didn't expect to come back early the next morning. After the security guard at the door informed Sumi, Sumi curled up her lips and smiled wickedly. It's okay, you don't have to rush someone, just let him stay. There are less than two days left until the end of the world. On this day, 
Su Mi removed the VX of Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing from the blacklist, and the overwhelming information was deleted by her. Open Li Heron's dialog box and start typing. I'll invite you and Xiaoxing to my house for dinner the day after tomorrow. Remember to come early in the morning. The day after tomorrow will be the beginning of the apocalyptic disaster, strictly speaking, there will be abnormal weather conditions tomorrow night. The beginning of apocalyptic disasters is the end of their lives. Perhaps it was too cheap for the dog couple not to experience the apocalyptic disaster, but for Sumi, nothing made them completely die, which was even more reassuring. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Apocalyptic Apocalypse You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Apocalyptic Apocalypse The Day Before the Apocalyptic Disaster At this point, the telecommunications communication signal is extremely unstable, and the network signal is even more intermittent. If it weren't for the installation of a satellite receiving device on Su Mi's receiving equipment, the signal would have been countless times stronger than ordinary equipment, and I'm afraid I wouldn't even be able to read the news by now. At night, the temperature in J City suddenly rose abnormally, and everyone couldn't even react. People who were still out and hadn't returned home suddenly felt chest tightness, shortness of breath, and sweating profusely. The temperature continued to rise, and by 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, the temperature in the outdoor air suddenly reached over 40 degrees. This sudden and extreme high temperature has caused even more severe interference to the communication signals on the entire Blue Star. However, people with air conditioning on were sleeping soundly at home, and no one was aware of the impending danger. Sumi thought she would suffer from insomnia at night, but she woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning when her neighbor knocked on the door next door. As early as a week ago, Sumi had her villa perimeter renovated and reinforced. Only specific windows in front and rear doors were left on the exterior walls of the first floor, and the doors and windows were also specially reinforced. It looks strange and unattractive outside, but why does she want to look beautiful? What she wants is life and practicality. Sumi didn't open the door, but instead watched the person knocking outside through a video device. It's the security guard at the entrance of the community. Miss Sue, the air conditioning in the guard room is broken. I don't know what's going on outside, and it's getting hot to death. A security guard couldn't bear it and fainted. Can we come in and hide from the toxic sun outside? The security guard who spoke looked very honest and straightforward. He usually smiled and was very polite when he saw Sue Mi in the community. The whole community had a good impression of him. However, at such times, knocking on the door of a single girl named Sumi would be thought dot provoking. Sumi didn't say a word, she turned off the video and sat down on the sofa. The security guard at the door originally thought Sumi would open the door. After all, a single little girl who just started college, without a father or mother, is easy to deceive. Unexpectedly, after waiting for a long time, the door didn't open and didn't even say a word. On the contrary, it was him, but after staying outside for a few minutes, his skin had already turned abnormally dark. And Sumi sat on the sofa watching the time, counting down in her mouth. In less than three minutes, the sound of ghosts crying and wolves howling came from outside the door, followed by a smell of burnt meat. Sumi opened the video again and looked outside. That security guard, black burnt marks began to appear in circles on his face and spread down his entire body. People living in villa communities are either wealthy or wealthy, and most of the prominent figures in J City live here. The security work in the community is done very well in daily life. At this moment, a security guard ignited in the community and soon turned into a black red and withered corpse lying among the withering flowers. Someone who saw this scene from the video device immediately called the police. However, the phone at the police station was busy, and no matter how many calls were made, it was not connected. Everyone's fear began to rise in their hearts. Not long after, many people felt extremely uncomfortable even at home and wanted to rush to the hospital under the scorching sun. As soon as he left the house, he let out a loud scream. The skin that was exposed to the high temperature, 
depending on the duration, showed extremely serious burns, and a circle of black coke began to appear on the wound, constantly spreading to other skin areas of the body. Just now, people who witnessed security guards dying from spontaneous combustion and turning into zombies were filled with fear and rushed into the bathroom or kitchen to flush the area where they or their families had been burned. The first aid measure after being scalded by high temperature, in the eyes of ordinary people, is to flush water and cool water. However, what caught them off guard was that the water coming out of the pipeline was not cold, at least 40 to 50 degrees. Sumi listened to screams of agony rising from the surrounding villas, with no expression on her face. A high temperature of several tens of degrees is not enough to reach the ignition point, but now the sunlight outside is no longer warm, but a source of aggressive radiation. After the human body is roasted into a corpse by aggressive nuclear radiation sources, clothes will also burn with the body. Sumi suddenly remembered a news before the end of the world. A foreign firefighter picked up a stone inside a nuclear leakage station with his bare hands, and it turned black, dry, and even melted from his hands. At this moment, she was thinking about how Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing died on the way to her house. The indoor temperature displayed on the temperature display device on the wall has reached 40 degrees, which is still because Su Mi turned on the air conditioning. So the outdoor temperature will definitely not be lower than 50 degrees. So I picked up my phone and confirmed again. Li Heron, are you and Yu Xiaoxing still coming? At the moment of receiving Su Mi's message, Li Heron was excited because it was enough to prove that Su Mi actually wanted to reconcile with him. However, Due to face-saving reasons, he called on Yu Xiaoxing to go find her together. Look at the blazing flames and high temperatures outside. Even if the air conditioning is turned on at 15 degrees Celsius, one is already sweating profusely inside the rented house. Li Heron couldn't help but think. If he went out now, would he be like the group of dry corpses downstairs who died in high temperatures? The screams outside were still coming incessantly and he didn't want to die. But the last instant noodles in his rented house were also eaten by him as a late-night snack. He had no food and would have to go out sooner or later. Why not take the opportunity to find Sumi? Her villa is large and spacious, definitely much cooler and more comfortable than the cheap rental house I found temporarily. So he quickly replied to the message, Honey, wait for me, I'll come. Sumi, who received a satisfactory response, curled her lips. According to this situation, as long as they were exposed to the high temperature outside for a few minutes or seconds, her revenge would be avenged. Sumi knows that this extremely hot weather is about to last for seven days. But others don't know. Today is the first day, and everyone will hide at home without knowing it. The casualties are still the best. But starting from the next day, the number of casualties will increase. Because no one would be reborn like her, able to predict the arrival of apocalyptic disasters, and hoarding so much food and water. On the third and the fourth day days, when all the food, rice and flour in these families are consumed, hunger will make them fearless, and even death will not resist them from going out to find food to satisfy themselves. That is when the number of human deaths reaches its peak. This is just an extremely hot and high temperature that lasts for seven days. If you can't withstand it, you'll have to die. Having passed by, what awaits them is about to be more devastating natural disasters. Sumi watched the TV news with intermittent signals, eating takeout from the space in her hand. Her mood was not heavy, but it was also not easy. The extremely hot environment has a high mortality rate. Within three days, the tributaries of rivers passing through J City will inevitably dry up, leading to a shortage of water sources in the entire J City. Without food, the body may still be able to sustain for a few days. Without water, coupled with the extremely hot weather, not to mention a day, no one can withstand half a day. J City will be chaotic for three days, so Sumi has no plans to go out during these seven days of extreme heat and high temperatures. After the sun sets, the overall temperature will decrease slightly, but there may also be a temperature of 40 degrees. 
It's just that Sumi knows that self-ignition is not entirely caused by high temperatures, but by a combination of factors such as extrasolar radiation that follows the ultraviolet rays of the sun into the blue star. So, at this moment, those who wanted to go out and purchase supplies after the sun set also arrived, and within three minutes of leaving, several more bodies lay on the ground. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Universal Unlocking Card You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Universal Unlocking Card Just because you don't go out doesn't mean trouble won't come knocking on you. At midnight, the door of Su Mi's house was knocked on again. This time she was too lazy to even turn on the video and turned off the lights without making any sound. Su Mi stood quietly at her doorstep, carefully listening to the outside noise. Listen to the sound, it's the property manager of the community. Xiao Chen, are you sure that Su Mi's little rich lady is alone at home? 7. Manager, I'm sure that girl's boyfriend had an argument with her and wasn't with her at all. Along with the sound of speaking, there was also the clang of picking out the key. Are you sure all the phone lines at the police station are busy now? Don't disturb the police later, we can't afford to go around. Don't worry, the manager. My little uncle called just now. He said that the police station is now in a mess. Today, less than half of the policemen go to work. In addition, many people have died in the police station. They are busy dealing with the aftermath. That's good. Let's go in. First, force this girl to write about the property transfer, and then. He 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 he, when we're done playing, will throw her out at dawn. Su Mi's face darkened. Is anyone eager to cross this moral bottom line on this first day? Fortunately, she replaced the door lock at home while renovating the exterior walls of the villa, otherwise she would really be in trouble with the property manager at this moment. A surprised voice came from outside the door. Damn it, this girl has changed the lock. Manager, it can't be opened. What should we do? The property manager stared at the people around him with a hazy expression and said, Didn't your uncle borrow the master key from their bureau last time? The little security guard immediately exclaimed, Yes, how could I forget about this? I left it in the storage cabinet in the security room, I'll go get it right away. Su Mi was listening to their conversation at the door, her heart getting colder and colder. According to the property manager and security guard, this type of criminal factor is not only present due to disasters. And surprisingly, he came over with the key, it seems to be a repeat offender. The current temperature outside is at least 40 degrees, and his restlessness can be detected from the speed and weight of his pace outside, let alone occasional greetings like, fuck, in his mouth. Sumi took out a long knife from the space. This is a sharpened knife that she chose after running to several forging prop stores. She stood at the door tightly holding her long knife in both hands, staring intently at the gap between the door and the wall. Even during the hellish half-year before her rebirth, she had never killed anyone or seen blood. At most, when following Lee Heron out to search for supplies, he threatened others with a knife. But today, she knew she couldn't escape the baptism of this apocalyptic disaster that everyone must go through. Outside the door, the footsteps of the little security guard approached from afar, and Sumi's palm holding the knife began to sweat. It's just that an accident happened at this moment. As the security guard approached, he suddenly let out a strange scream, from low to high, and finally the sound was mournful, followed by the property manager's almost scared roar. With two beeps, the electronic lock of Sumi's house was opened. Sumi didn't hesitate. In the dark room, when Sumi saw the door open, a thick arm extended in and a long sword swung down. A more mournful cry followed. She hid it. The deep bloodshed shone with a special light in the darkness. The wound was deep and bone was visible. Sumi believed that with another blow, she could definitely cut off this arm. Damn it! You stinky woman, dare to chop me down! The property manager's fierce gaze lit up in the darkness. Although Sumi was nervous, she was completely not afraid. 
The long sword swung down from a strange angle. Ah! The property manager's screams were earth-shattering, and then he crouched on the ground, looking at his arm hanging on his side in terror. He once used his position in other high.n neighborhoods to infringe upon some wealthy and influential single girls in his family. After the incident, the family did not expand the situation to save face. Moreover, he was very clever and did not let others discover that he had done it. He thought it was the same this time. Moreover, he is still a person whose parents died together. Who knows, I kicked the iron plate today. He never imagined that Sumi, who looked soft and weak, would wield a long knife and cut off his arm. Her cold gaze at him was as if she were looking at a dead person. You, you, what do you want to do? Sumi didn't answer and slowly approached the seemingly tough property manager with a long knife in her hands. His arm had already broken and fallen to the ground, and she was wondering if the other party still had the strength to suddenly attack, catching her off guard. After all, in the month of her rebirth, although she did some aerobic and strength training every day, her strength was still much weaker than that of a normal man. The property manager seemed to be frightened by Su Mi's actions, until the blade of light flashed past the side of his neck, and he stared at Su Mi incredulously. Finally, disregarding the injury of the severed arm, the other hand covered the large artery that had been cut open on the side of the neck and slowly collapsed. Su Mi looked at the white marble floor, and the blood under the property manager's body began to accumulate into small pools of blood. The skin of the broken arm slowly turned gray-white on one side, and her eyebrows furrowed tightly. Her stomach churned with excitement, but she held back. I have seen countless dead people in my past life, but none of them died under her command. This will be the norm in the future, she must get used to it. So, enduring nausea, Sumi opened the door and a wave of heat surged in, making her feel like she was breathing a little. Even at night, it made her feel hot to the point of palpitations. So he threw the property manager's body out of the door and his broken arm into the grass. When closing the door, I saw a person wearing a security uniform lying on the open space outside the villa, with burn marks on his cheeks, forehead, and arms. Even though he is still alive, he is not far from death when the sun rises. Sumi kicked the person away a bit, then immediately returned home and started wiping the floor. That master key card was in her pocket. In the apocalypse, having this card really has many uses. Sumi cleaned up the bloodstains in the living room and took out mugwort to light and dispel the smell of blood. Then I took a shower myself. The circuit of the water heater overheated and burned out during the day. Not only Sumi, but also the entire villa community and even the entire J City's power system were completely paralyzed on this night. Only a few families with small generators can still rely on them to gain some light. Sumi also bought a generator, and in order to prevent unexpected situations, she bought many types. One type of gasoline power generation, one type of diesel power generation, and one type of manual power generation. She has tried manual power generation, and although it is tiring and the power generation is small, fortunately it does not require a power generation medium and can be used at any time. Another thing is the solar energy storage panel installed on her roof at this moment, which has been modified by Kong Xiaoman. Kong Xiaoman guarantees that he can withstand high temperatures of 60 degrees Celsius by patting his chest. After a day of high dot temperature energy storage during the day, the solar energy storage panel has abundant power at this moment. Sumi didn't turn on the lights, and any light caught by the outside world was a big trouble. She lit a candle, quickly dried her short hair, and then took out the takeout from the space to eat. After dawn, the temperature will reach 50 degrees, and any electronic device or appliance will be paralyzed at such a temperature. The next temperature will only get higher and higher. She remembers that before rebirth, seven days before the apocalyptic disaster, the highest temperature would reach 55 degrees Celsius, and all surface water would evaporate. As soon as people stepped out of the house, they would be burned and burnt. She must prepare everything, 
put away everything that should be collected, and then enter the basement to avoid the extremely hot and hot weather for the next six days. New book upload requires everyone's support. I need all the tickets to clock in. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Unexpected Changes in the Body You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Unexpected Changes in the Body Sumi, who had not slept all night, had already moved everything in the room into the space before 7 o'clock in the morning. This damn weather has soaked her whole body with sweat. This body is very thin and weak due to maintaining a figure all year round, and even if she takes care of it for a month, there is not much effect. You still need to continue eating and exercising. The location of the basement is more than 4 meters away from the ground, and the temperature at this moment is about 267 degrees. Although it's not cool, it's still very comfortable except for a bit dry. Sumi did not enter the space to avoid the extreme heat and high temperature, after all, the environment inside the space is too comfortable. Staying for a long time can easily make her lose her vigilance towards the outside world, and it is also difficult for her to adapt to the extreme environment outside. To survive in the afterlife for a long time, one still needs to be exposed to the outside world and adapt step by step to survive. Sumi had nothing to do in the basement, so she took out the fitness equipment she had bought online to exercise. A good body cannot be formed overnight, she needs to take advantage of the high temperature to exercise well in her spare time. If you're tired from practicing, drink water and take a break. After an hour, practice according to the pre-downloaded yoga video for a while. Then, when it was time for dinner, I ate well until I had to walk up from the basement and return to my home on the ground to solve my physiological problems. However, the temperature on the ground was too hot, and the higher Sumi walked up, the higher the temperature became. The temperature at a distance from the ground door reached 49 degrees. Opening the door, a wave of heat rushed toward Sumi. She couldn't open her eyes and was instantly soaked in sweat, as if she had entered the sauna. Stepping on the tiles on the ground, the heat seeped through Sumi's sols as if to steam her. No, the temperature at home has almost reached 50 degrees, and outside it must have reached 55 degrees, or even higher. This seems to be even hotter than the extremely hot weather of the seven days before her rebirth. Sumi quickly solved her physiological problem and checked the surroundings of the room as quickly as possible. There were no signs of being pried, so she immediately returned to the basement. Returning from the ground, her whole body was like half-cooked white meat pulled out of boiling water, scorching hot. So he took out a bamboo mat and placed it on the ground, lying on it trying to cool down his body. She tossed and turned on the ground, but not only did her body's heat not decrease, but she also had nosebleeds due to excessive heat. Sumi didn't make a big fuss. In the apocalypse before her rebirth, she not only suffered nosebleeds and sores at the corners of her mouth due to high temperatures, but even had her eardrums pierced. These are all caused by the toxic sun outside and will not be fatal. But by around 8 p.m., Sumi knew that her condition this time was much worse than before the end of the world, because she had a fever. Lying on the bamboo mat, feeling drowsy and groggy, her ears tingled with dizziness. Watching the room temperature climb from the original 28 degrees to 30 degrees, she used her last strength and mind to return to space. A magical scene happened. Sumi, who was already confused and almost unconscious, seemed to have a lot of cool air seeping in from around her body when she returned to the space, allowing her hot body to feel a hint of coolness and comfort for the next ten minutes. Immediately after, the burning sensation in her nose disappeared, and the nosebleed no longer gushed out. There was a comfortable coolness in her eyes, nose, mouth, and lungs. The most magical thing is that her sore mouth corner also disappeared within the next half hour. She wanted to stand up, but an unknown force erupted from within her, causing her to bounce off the ground and fall to the ground again due to unstable center of gravity. Fortunately, helping the face in a timely manner prevented the tragedy from happening. She stood up slowly from the ground, looking at her hands stomping her feet, 
a feeling of strength that she had never experienced before. Ha! Huh. Sumi touched her own skin. On the face, arms, waist and abdomen, legs and feet, there is a layer of light brown oily impurities with some black particles. Taking a closer look, the pungent smell almost made Sumi vomit. What is this thing, it smells so bad. If it weren't for the lack of a toilet in her space, she would have felt like she had fallen into a cesspool. So Sumi quickly took a shower with water and a bathtub. Water is one of Sumi's main stocking goals for the past month. She believes that as long as she saves some use, this water will persist for a year or two without any problem. This time, it wasn't until she ran out of a whole bottle of shower gel that the dirt on her body was washed clean. Sumi frowned as she watched the originally clear water in the bathtub turn pitch black. Thinking, if she were to use this water to irrigate the land, would the eggplants she had just sown die? After thinking for a while, Sumi still didn't use the dirty water she had taken a shower to water the ground. Instead, she left it in the space and waited for the chance to pour it out again. She took out a new outfit and put it on. Because she was afraid of the heat, she changed into a lightweight sleeveless vest and tight shorts to get out of space. How did the temperature outside become less hot after coming out of space this time? She glanced at the temperature gauge in the basement, which was 31 degrees higher than before entering the space, but why did she feel cooler? Recalling the moment when I almost fainted from the heat outside, I instantly recovered when I returned to space. Not only that, but my body also excreted so much dirt. Is it because of this? Has my adaptability to the outside world become stronger? In order to verify her ideas, Sumi boldly walked towards the ground again. She walked cautiously, but even at the ground entrance separated by a door, she still didn't feel much heat. She opened the door on the ground, and although the hot wind was hot, it only made Sumi feel a slight warmth. Her chest was not as stuffy as before, and her whole body was not as sweaty. At this moment, Sumi's eyes lit up. Her verification has been confirmed, and her physical fitness has really improved due to this accident. It's her space. Her space actually has the ability to restore people. It's really abnormal. I originally wanted to get close to the door and feel the temperature outside, but when I passed by a floor-to-ceiling mirror in the living room, Sumi froze. The girl in the mirror has wheat-colored skin all over her body, sunny and healthy, so delicate that her pores are almost invisible. You should know that her skin used to be naturally fair because she often went on a diet to lose weight, which also led to an unhealthy pallor in her fair complexion. But now, that delicate skin tone is gone, replaced by a healthy wheat colored skin. Not only that, Sumi, who originally had low physical fitness, found that her arms and legs had some faint lines. Although her muscles were not obvious, the hidden strength was something she had never experienced before. And the faint waistline on her lower abdomen made her even more powerful. Very good, she really likes it. With a good body, one can have the capital to survive longer in the apocalypse. These are all brought to her by her magical space. The second one is coming tentative date of 4000, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Charcoal of Life You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Charcoal of Life Sumi stood at her doorstep, feeling the heat seeping through the crack in the door. Well, the touch is not as hot as imagined. She suspected multiple times that the phenomenon of this apocalyptic disaster had weakened, but only then did she take out a thermometer and stick it to the crack of the door before she was stunned. 57 degrees Celsius. She was surprised to find that the highest temperature before her death was even 2 degrees higher than the extreme heat. It seems that she underestimated the intensity of extreme heat and high temperatures. Holding the doorknob in hand, slowly open the door. A burst of hot wind rushed in, blowing out Sumi's sweat again. It seems that the high temperature of 57 degrees has a significant impact on her. At least now, every breath she takes feels a burning heat in her lungs that is difficult to dissipate. She glanced at the body outside the door. 
Good, there are two more. In addition to two security guards, the property manager, there are two unknown mummies lying upside down in the flower bed at her door. It seems that her family is notorious for being uninhabited and easy to bully in the community. Everyone wants to come to her house to touch the porcelain, and if not, there will be a free shelter. Unfortunately, they underestimated the harm that external high temperatures can cause to people. The radiation generated by nuclear fusion of the sun seems to have a stronger impact on the organisms on the blue planet. Sumi extended her hand and quickly retracted it. The destructive power of ultraviolet radiation left a red mark of about 5 centimeters on her arm, with no more. However, Sumi looked at the several dry corpses lying on the ground again. For safety reasons, we still need to try again. So, if anyone could pass by Sumi's doorstep at this moment, they would surely see a little girl in her early sixties, wearing a simple and thin tight vest and shorts, standing at her doorstep, repeatedly extending her arms and letting the scorching sun outside shine on her arm. First, three minutes. It is still a red mark of about five centimeters. She closed the door and returned to the space, feeling a slight coolness in the red mark on her arm. In less than a minute, the red mark disappeared directly. A small patch of light brown dirt appeared on the original red mark, just like what had appeared on her body before. It seems that the changes in one's own body are also related to this. Space has a very magical repairing power, which will repair her injuries and help her eliminate impurities from her body when there are scars on her body. At the same time, it greatly improved her physical fitness and fitness. And every time she repairs, she feels that her body's strength also increases. So after leaving space, I tried again for five minutes. The red mark expands to six centimeters. Then seven minutes. The red mark is still about six centimeters. Sumi bravely exposed her small arms to the outside sun for 15 minutes. During these 15 minutes, Sumi closely observed the changes in the skin on her forearm. Be prepared to immediately return to space if there is anything wrong. To her delight, after 15 minutes, the red mark on her arm was only 10 centimeters, and when she returned to space, the mark disappeared, and her physical fitness skyrocketed again. This led her to try again to expose her entire body to the scorching sun for 10 minutes, with only a few red marks on her face and shoulders. Sumi knows that the seven days of extreme heat and high temperatures during the apocalyptic disaster are no longer a life or death test for her, but a precious opportunity to transform her physical fitness. There are only five days left for such an opportunity. So Sumi redesigned her exercise plan. During the day, except for three meals, I regularly go outside the gate to receive the baptism of the scorching sun and enhance my physical fitness. After nightfall, exercise physical fitness, endurance, and arm strength indoors. The effectiveness of this exercise is very great, and on the fifth day of extremely hot weather, Sumi was able to walk outside for an hour without fear of high temperatures and was unharmed. However, over time, red marks will still appear on the body, and as time goes on, the red marks will also expand. Of course, as long as you return to space again, you will come out with a flawless Sumi. With only two days left until the extreme heat and high temperatures have passed, Sumi's already nervous heart is no longer so tense with this good body. At this moment, she was thinking of Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing. Before their rebirth, the three of them happened to have a party in the apartment she bought the night before the apocalypse, so they prepared a lot of food and drinks. In addition, Li Heron likes to cook things at home, and that apartment often hoards a lot of goods. This also allowed the three of them to survive the first seven days at that time, and then use the grain stored in her cellar to survive the next six months. But this time, without her, these two people should have died. Sumi changed into a set of long-sleeved pants, put on a duckbill cap, sunglasses, and a mask, and walked out of the house. Because the temperature on the ground has reached 58 degrees, ordinary shoes will open or stick to the bottom after walking on the ground for two steps, so Sumi wore a pair of Martin boots with very thick bottoms. Along the way, 
there were some unidentified dry corpses, and there were also over a dozen at the entrance of the community. The whole body's skin was burnt, dried, and turned black, leaving only a layer of black-like coating wrapped around the bone rack. Even the clothes worn outside have already been burned down. Without her help in this life, the probability of Li Heron and Yu Xiaoxing surviving is extremely low. Sumi hopes that the two of them lying on the ground are this pair of dogs and men. Unfortunately, it is impossible to identify it now. After wandering around outside, the main road was already scorching hot with hot smoke, and many cars on the road had blown out tires and were left stranded on the road. Almost every car has one or two corpses lying on the outside, indicating their past identity as owners. The plants on both sides of the road are all withered and yellow, hanging upside down. The thick trees are also bare, many of which have self-ignited. The entire tree body has been burned to black charcoal, and a crack has opened in the middle. These self-igniting trees are good materials for igniting fires. However, Sumit did not go to chop. She had already prepared a lot of wood, charcoal, and some ignition materials in her space. The entire city of Jay is like a dead city, devoid of people or sound, except for the crackling sound of dry branches and leaves as the hot wind blows. The sky was like a fiery red oven, and surprisingly, a dying bird fell at Sumi's feet. I originally wanted to pick it up and bring it back for dinner, but the bird that fell to the ground suddenly started to ignite from the tail, and in no time was burned all over, leaving only a pile of bones. Sumi was about to turn back when she saw a supermarket with its door open at the corner of the road, and several dry corpses lying on the doorstep. Sumi remembers that this supermarket is an imported goods supermarket that specializes in providing services for this wealthy villa area. Although the supermarket is not large, the contents inside are very comprehensive. Food, clothing, imported fruits and vegetables cosmetics, children's playground. Most importantly, Sumi realized that there were no tropical fruit seeds in the seeds she bought at the wholesale market seed store. And she remembered that there happened to be a small seed store in this supermarket, specializing in selling seeds that were not available in the outside market. She had seen a type of bamboo rice called purple bamboo, which could grow purple bamboo. In addition, there were many strange and peculiar flower and plant seeds, and most importantly, there were seeds of durian that she loved to eat. She has not fully planted all the black soil that can be planted in the space, leaving several pieces of land vacant. If there are durian seeds, they can be planted immediately. Her space is magical. Ordinary vegetables can grow up to 7 or 8 centimeters tall in 3 days, and a bountiful harvest can be achieved in about a week. So at this moment, there is already a pile of vegetables she loves to eat on the ground in her space. Time in space is not static, but the items she puts into space are infinitely static, which gives these materials a permanent preservation function. It's like the takeout she put into the space is still at the same temperature as when it was first delivered. And the frozen meat and ice cream popsicles she put into the space still maintain their original state and ice content. This made Sumi very happy. A new chapter lets continue grilling people, uh, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Supermarket Encounters Living People you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Supermarket Encounters Living People Sumi bypassed a few dried corpses and entered the supermarket. The entrance to the supermarket is completely dark, and several snack shops outside have long since run out of lights. But because it's indoors, the temperature is not as high as outside. Entering about 60 meters, a shop specializing in selling candy snacks appeared on Sumi's left side. Although various colored candies and chocolates were scattered on the ground, they were all packaged intact. It seems that extreme high temperatures have not brought too many signals of the end of the world to people. People are more willing to believe that such high temperatures will recede in a few days. So, neither this candy store nor the neighboring snack shop showed any signs of looting. Perhaps another reason is that the living conditions of the people living in this area are so good that they still cannot do anything about looting and stealing food. 
Sumi can only say they are stupid. But doesn't this happen to be cheaper for her? Whether it was the various colored candies and chocolates on the shelves or scattered on the ground in the candy store, or the candies and chocolates that needed to be chilled in the freezer, whether melted or not, they were all sent into the space by her along with the freezer. Candy and chocolate, as long as they are packaged intact and solidified, can still be eaten. So, the snack shop next door was empty, the beverage shop was also empty, and even the beverage machine in the mall was taken down by Sumi. Sumi almost collected while walking, and soon all the food she could use and eat in the store on the first floor of the supermarket was taken into her pocket. She soon arrived at the seed store. This is the best preserved store on the first floor of the supermarket. The glass door is half open and half closed, and the counter at the door is lying on the ground. Several small packages of flower seeds have fallen to the ground, with many footprints on them. After Sumi collected everything on the ground and inside the counter into the space, she walked directly into the store. This shop is very small, only a dozen square meters in size. Sumi collected all the seeds and planting tools in the store and looked at the tropical fruit seeds and saplings in the pile of seeds in the space, happily bending her lips. The goal was to complete the task, and Sumi wanted to leave, but unexpectedly several figures appeared from the corner of the second floor. There are not many people in this group, six men and two women, each with dirty and greasy clothes, and their hair looks unwashed for at least three days. A rancid smell rushed straight into Sumi's nose from afar. Sumi looked at the distance of about a hundred meters, where she could smell the odor from the other person. She only felt that her sense of smell became more sensitive as her physical fitness improved as she gained space. Wrinkled and turned to leave, but was stopped by this group of people. That person over there, please stop. Eight people quickly ran over and surrounded Sumi, who had not stopped walking. I asked you to stand still, where are you going? Are you deaf? Sumi regretted not getting herself dirty before going out, as there were still living people in such a small supermarket. Looking at the green juice left at the corners of these people's mouths and the dirt all over their bodies, it seems that they have been relying on the vegetable and fruit market on the second floor for the past few days. The man who was speaking had a somewhat fluid appearance, and a large gold chain around his neck was a bit shaky. This should be from the community here. What's up? Sumi looked at the group of people on guard. Are you a resident of this community? One of the women in the group suddenly spoke loudly, Brother Huang, this woman is a resident of a villa community diagonally opposite. I saw her when I went to that community to do business. She then whispered something in the Jinlian's ear. The voice was very soft, even the people next to them couldn't hear clearly, but Sumi heard it. I heard from the security guard in the community over there that this little girl is only in her freshman year, and her father was the former richest man, but he passed away a year ago. Now she is alone and has no family. Sumi squinted her eyes dangerously towards the woman speaking. The Jin Lienzi's expression suddenly increased, and his gaze towards Sumi was even more radiant. Little girl, don't be afraid. You've also seen this weather outside. The toxic sun has already killed too many people. Our brothers can't stay in this small supermarket anymore. I think you didn't have much food before coming out to find something to eat. So, let me discuss something with you, do you think it's okay? Before finishing speaking, Sumi interrupted her. No way. Sumi looked coldly at the woman her cold gaze causing her to suddenly shrink her neck and feel a little guilty. But as soon as she thought of the outside scene, she boldly stared at Sumi. Hey, you sensible, hurry up and take us to your house to hide for a few days. When the temperature drops, we will leave. We won't treat you unfairly. You can choose any food here, and we'll take it as a good thing to help you move into your house together. Sumi didn't pay attention and just wanted to leave, but was grabbed by the big golden chain on her arm. The Jean Lienzi felt the icy and cool touch and delicate skin in his palm, and ripples appeared frequently in his heart. These days, the people around him are all sour and smelly, 
and the clean appearance of the little girl in front of him really makes him itch. Little girl, don't worry, we are all good people. If you take us in for a few days, we will definitely have a big thank you. Sumi looked at the eight people in front of her, six men and two women. The two women were soft, weak, and vulnerable to a single blow. The six men were only tall and burly with big golden chains, while the other five were thin and weak. However, it was not easy for her to solve the six people in a short time. Moreover, she placed the long knife in the space and suddenly took it out. If one of them slipped away, her secret was highly likely to be exposed. Sumi suddenly remembered a TV drama in the past where the male protagonist asked, Do I still have a chance, before plotting to murder two elderly people? She then turned to the other few who had not spoken before and asked mischievously, Are you all thinking the same? The remaining few people, seeing Sumi asking them, also nodded and agreed with the big golden chain. Very good so Sumi slowly pulled out her arm held by the big golden chain and smiled calmly. Sumi was already born with a delicate and beautiful appearance. Although her skin is no longer fair, her wheat-colored skin and curvaceous figure add a wild charm to her. With such a smile, it instantly made six men, including big golden chain, swallow their saliva. The extreme heat and high temperature did not bring them a survival alarm, but instead created a different emotion towards a young girl who had just entered freshman year and was unarmed. Since that's the case, why don't everyone come with me? Sumi walked ahead calmly, with a look of, I will take you home. The eight of them followed her as if they were lost in their minds. Until the group walked to the entrance of the supermarket, those eight people were awakened by the several dry corpses lying at the door. Damn it, you dare to play with us. Now you're running outside. Do you want us to become dry corpses like those dead people? Big Gold Chain first reacted and raised his hand, ready to slap Sumi. Sumi quickly dodged his hand and pulled the woman in front of her, blocking her palm. The woman was slapped, unable to speak in anger, staring at Sumi and silently walking to the back, standing side by side with another woman. However, Sumi didn't have that much scruples. She quickly stepped out and walked to the door, standing in the middle of those few corpses, laughing and not angry at the eight people inside. Let me tell you a few, I'm afraid you've been staying in the supermarket for a long time and your brain is broken, right? Although it's hot outside now, no one can die. Otherwise, how do you think I came from home? At first, the Jin Lian wanted to curse, but on the other hand, when he thought about it, even a little girl could be exposed to the scorching sun. How could these big men be in trouble? So he breathed a sigh of relief and asked a few people to leave together. Let's take a walk, let's follow and go to the little girl's house to avoid the high temperature. By the way, let's play with this little beauty. As she spoke, she looked at Sumi with lewd eyes and stepped out. A few people should be aware of the scorching sun outside, and everyone is wearing long sleeves and hats. But now that Sumi was unharmed, the six men walked out first. Sai, today's second watch, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Mouth Slaying You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Mouth Slaying However, not long after the six of them left the supermarket, their skin began to heat up through their clothes. When the six people realized something was wrong, the piercing pain in their bodies made them howl. However, in just over ten seconds, all six of them fell to the ground, emitting a burnt meat aroma. At the moment their clothes touched the ground, they quickly ignited and turned into ashes in just a few seconds. Sumi doesn't even need to do anything, there are six more male corpses on the ground. For such a corpse, Sumi has become numb. The two women were originally walking at the end. When they noticed something unusual ahead, they quickly withdrew their steps and turned their heads to run back into the supermarket. They have been deceived, and the temperature outside will still scorch people to death. But it's already too late. But what frightened them the most was that the little girl, who was completely clean, had nothing to do in such a high temperature, not even sweating much. Devil, she must be a devil. 
the two didn't run far, only feeling a gust of wind blowing behind them. Sumi took advantage of the moment when the two of them turned their heads and ran, quickly taking out a long knife from the space and chasing after them. Two women, after two or three days of extreme heat and torment, how could they possibly run faster than Sumi? Sumi's long sword pierced through the back of the first woman and slashed her neck, giving her a satisfying sensation. The other woman knew she couldn't run away and immediately knelt in front of Sumi, kowtowing and begging for mercy. Let me go, I shouldn't have been too talkative and let Huang bother you. It's my fault, I kowtowed to you, please let me go. She timidly looked at the long knife suddenly appearing in Su Mi's hand, and immediately thought of the SCI.FI scenes in novels and movies. The words, emptiness, instantly enlightened her and made her understand her current situation. No wonder they went downstairs to find food this time. The shops downstairs are all empty, so this girl must have a space. Me, don't kill me, I will definitely help you keep the secret. Please. Before she could finish speaking, Sumi ended her life with a single blow. She can spare some insignificant people with kindness, but these people have all seen her standing and scathed under the scorching sun. Any hidden danger may bring fatal consequences to oneself in the future. She would rather become a demon than put herself in danger for a lifetime of rebirth. After leaving the supermarket, she looked up at the sky and saw the sunlight still piercing her eyes under the filters of sunglasses. She has been out for over an hour now, it's time to go back. She didn't retract the long knife this time. Even at such high temperatures, there were still many unknowns that would happen. Holding the long knife in her hand, Sumi walked back calmly. There was still no one coming out of the hallway, only the sour sweat and occasional whispers emanating from the houses of each household. Upon returning home, Sumi turned on the air conditioning and began today's strength training. It didn't take much effort to solve the eight people just now, because those six men didn't have much respect for the apocalypse, and they relaxed their vigilance towards her as a girl. Even though her physical fitness has improved now, if she encounters such a situation again in the future, she is not sure if she can fight against eight. After all, extreme heat and high temperatures only last for seven days, so it's not like encountering a few silly people every time. The muscle soreness after strength training is a reassuring feeling for Sumi now. After taking a hot shower and eating takeout, Sumi started practicing yoga again. After the sun sets, the temperature drops to 48 degrees, but it is still a suffocating high temperature. And these days of extreme heat and high temperatures have also given some clever people some speculations. You will die if you go out during the day, but what about at night? Sumi was in the hall, and as her hearing improved, she heard a lot of noise. Many people in the villa area have started to operate at night. After all, it has been three days, and the temperature during the day makes them feel intimidated. Even inside the house, they suffer from heat stroke due to stuffiness. Although it is still 48 degrees at night, without direct sunlight, at least there is some guarantee of life safety. Sumi also marveled at human intelligence. Indeed, even if the temperature is high at night, as long as the protection is done well, it is possible to stay outside for a short period of time. Although it is also harmful to the body, it is better than dying of thirst or starvation. She was practicing yoga indoors while listening to groups of people coming and going outside. Even fortunately, there were several instances of arguments and verbal abuse. But none of this has anything to do with her. She doesn't have to go out at night to hang out with these people. She decided to go further away tomorrow during the day, taking advantage of the days before the apocalyptic disaster, when people had not yet reacted, to search for more supplies. Although there are enough things in the space for her to live in seclusion until the end of time, this is the end of the world. Who would mind having too many resources? Sumi returned to the basement before entering the space to rest. Although her exterior walls are well protected, there is always a contingency. She doesn't want this kind of contingency to happen when she comes out of space. Magically, objects in space are in a stationary state, 
but no matter how long they stay in space, they are consistent with the external time. Sumi woke up naturally after only sleeping for five hours in the space, and her mental state was very good. The sore muscles and fatigue caused by exercise yesterday were also eliminated. After changing into a new outfit, Sumi went out. The target is some well-equipped high-rise residential areas. Opening the door and going out, as expected, there were several more corpses outside the door. Sumi looked at these corpses coldly, but still put on gloves and threw them all into the flower bed further away. Although the body fluids of these zombies have evaporated, there will always be a strange odor over time. There are two high-rise residential areas closest to Sumi's house. One is the high-end residential area that she has previously inspected for terrain and floor environment, and the large spacing between each building meets her standards. The only downside is that the occupancy rate in this community is too high, and the surrounding environment is too good with too many trees. Once there are floods and strong winds, people here will be at great risk. And another high-rise community is slightly further away. The environment of the community is not very exquisite, and each building only has 23 floors. The gaps between buildings are also within the normal range. Just because this community is an old one, Sumi is worried that her house structure can withstand several months of natural disasters in the future. After all, it will start to rain rainstorm in five days, which will last for more than a month. The accumulated water will submerge all the houses below the tenth floor, and those living below can only move upwards. And all travel relies on water transportation. Sumi plans to go to these two communities to inquire about the casualties of high-rise residents. Firstly, the nearest high-end high-rise residential area. From afar, she could see some residents in the community hiding behind curtains and looking out. She quietly climbed over the wall through the side door, avoiding the view of those who might still be alive upstairs outside each building, walked around, and then quietly left. The trees here are too tall. The seven-day scorching sun withered it, and coupled with the soaking of the upcoming heavy rain and floods in a few days, it was easy to break apart. If such trees span between buildings, it is easy for them to be scratched or even obstructed when traveling in a rubber boat or other water vehicle in the future. So this community was removed from Sumi's candidate list. Sumi found a safe place to enter the space and rest for a while, ate something, and organized the food, vegetables, and fruits planted on the black soil. The durian seeds planted before going to bed last night have already sprouted and grown four or five centimeters tall. The bamboo rice she sprinkled in the corner also sprouted at this moment. On the seed packaging, it is said that this bamboo rice will grow into the legendary precious purple bamboo, which will have a deep purple color. End of this chapter